This is a fish pie from a 1650s French cookbook. It smells great. It's so much fun to make. Let's find out how it's made. Welcome to 18th Century Cooking. Well, this recipe comes from uh, Lavarine's Cookery. This is a translated and edited version uh, that's been done very recently of a book that was originally printed in France in the 1650s. And then almost a, a couple of years later, it was translated into English in the 1650s. So there's a French version, there's an English version, and then this sort of modern uh, translation. Uh, excellent cookbook if you're really into uh, what's going on, the transition of French cookery from the 16th, 17th, and into the 18th century. This gives you that glimpse of what is going on right here in the mid 17th century. Uh, excellent cookbook full of wonderful recipes. A lot of these are high-end recipes because this is a bit more like court cookery, but there are a lot of simple recipes also. And you get to kind of see about what's happening with the fish one is a great example where um, it'll say, you know, how to do a salmon pie. And then it just says all these other fish types is like, oh, the same as the salmon pie. Just do the same thing over again. So you can see how uh, different recipes, uh, there. He, he gives you a lot of room to do adaptation. So this uh, dish is actually a little bit more of a medieval style of cooking fish. Uh, this shows up in this recipe book, but by the time you get to the 18th century, this style of cooking fish sort of disappears, but it's very, very simple. And it's gonna look neat, so that's why I wanted to do this recipe. Uh, so we need uh, fish, right? So, you know, I, I don't have access. We're not here on the coast. We're here kind of landlocked. So I went out to where I can get fish and uh, what I got that I thought looked interesting was a mackerel. So we've got a mackerel for a fish. I think we can use a lot of different varieties. You can use freshwater or saltwater fish for this kind of recipe. Um, I've got simple salt and pepper. Uh, we've got a, lit, a little bit of ground cloves and a little bit of vinegar along with some melted butter. And then of course, we're gonna need our pastry shell. And here's our paste. And really we can use just about any kind of paste we want here. We could use a puff paste. He doesn't in the recipe book get really, really specific about this because we actually aren't necessarily gonna eat this paste. It's basically a cooking vessel, right? So uh, I've got our fish here. Obviously it's already been you know, gutted and gilled and I've took the fins off, things like that. Um, if it needs to be scaled, you should scale it. This particular guy, a mackerel doesn't really uh, need scaling. It's gonna, the skin is gonna basically come off when we uh, take our paste off. But we want this piece of pastry so that it goes all the way around the fish, kind of shaped for the fish here. Um, but we do kind of want the whole fish. We don't want to, you know, have slices of it. That's a kind of a different recipe. So we got our whole fish here. We're going to put it in the center. And let's, uh, let's start off with a little bit of salt on this guy. Let me put a little salt in there and on him. Uh, we definitely want pepper in here. And the recipe actually calls for larding uh, this fish, which we're not going to do. And it's a little, I'm not, wasn't sure exactly how they wanted to lard it. So I decided I'd skip that part. And I don't have any eels or carp on hand. But when they did that, uh, they also used, the, when they did the larding, they also used a little ground clove. So I put that in here. Now we're gonna, we're, uh, gonna put a lot of melted butter on this guy. And this is basically our larding here. We want to have uh, a lot of nice um, oil in here with this fish. And that's going to make him really good. We're going to get a lot of that inside there. Yes, I'm using a feather for the brush for uh, this. It's a very common uh, use here in, uh, in the time period where we need to brush things on. Okay, good. We got a nice uh, coating. Uh, it also calls for a sprinkling of vinegar in here before we close it up. So we're gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of vinegar up on top. And now we can go ahead and set our top crust on top of our fish. Now we want these two crusts to join up properly. So right where they join up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little water on this so that they join properly.
Okay, so this uh, looks pretty good. It's all sealed up. Now we get to have some fun with the visuals. It's obvious that they were, they cared about the visuals in here. He even mentions about the paste, you know, sh being in the shape of a fish. So we're gonna have, we're gonna cut this and uh, add some, uh, add some back of the parts that we took out of this. We're gonna cut some fins into our paste here. Now our last step before we put this into the oven is just a little bit of egg wash on the top of this so that it, uh, it gives us a nice brown color. So let's get this washed up here. Okay, that looks very, very good. And this guy's ready to go into the oven. We're gonna put it into the oven uh, in a modern oven, probably 400, 420 degrees or so. Uh, it, the cooking time really depends on the size of your fish. I would say this uh, this one's probably going to take about 20 minutes. You'll have to watch it, see what how it goes. If it's a much smaller fish, it might not take quite as long. If it's a giant fish, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer. Let's get this one in the oven. So here's our fish pie after 25 minutes in the oven. Then I let it rest. Uh, so about 15 minutes to cool off so I could move it on to this platter. Uh, I, I was having trouble. This, this guy is long. It's hard to find a platter big enough for this. Uh, we're going to cut into this. Now I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in the head myself. So I'm just going to remove uh, sort of the crust here from the center. We still want it to look nice, right? So we want to carefully remove this uh, crust so we can just kind of cut into the very bottom of it. Well, it looks like it cooked well. It's got some wonderful um, smells to it, a nice cooked fish smell. We've got some spices, you know, spice smells coming off of that. Let's see how well uh, our, our flesh cooked up here. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, get in here and see how well it, uh, it cooked. There we go. It's fish pie from 1650. Let's see. Mm, perfect, perfect. Very nice. This is really good. Obviously, you got to be careful with bones anytime you're eating a fish like this, but excellent. And, you know, it. Um, you can imagine what this is like. You're, you know, you've put it in this paste here, and it's sort of internally steamed it. So instead of cooking it like a lot of recipes from the 18th century, where you're poaching it, right, and you're kind of mixing it up with all these um, uh, extra water, and, and you're pouring away some of the flavor. This traps all this flavor in here, along with the spices and that butter, and really makes a tremendous dish, a great flavor. I'm, you know, I imagine that this disappears because it's not the easiest thing to bake. You gotta have a nice big plate and it's gotta go into an oven and all that, but the, the, the flavors are tremendous and it's such a fun looking dish that I just really, really enjoy this one. And, and you can do it with a lot of different kinds of fish and probably play this up. You could you know, do it with uh, freshwater fish, small fish or large fish. Uh, you probably wanna find ones that work better with, you know, that don't have too many bones or that their flesh is nice and out there and really easy to get to or one, maybe ones that the flavor would work really well for this. But uh, it's such a fun way to do it. And I think, um, you know, it's one of, that, one of those ones that we can try and it's so impressive to look at. So we've done a handful of fish recipes in the past. They were great, but this one might be one of the best uh, fish recipes we've done so far. Excellent, excellent, and again, it's just it's just fun to look at. Uh, if you're interested, this cookbook, uh, Laverine's Cookery. Uh, hopefully, I've said the name right. I'm not not too good at that. But uh, this one is available. It's, it's you, I've got an Amazon link down in the description section. If you're interested in checking this book out, um, I'll put a link down in there for this book. Um, I want to thank you for coming along today as we experiment with these. With these smells, these flavors that come from to us from the past, and, and we have to reach out and go and, and get them. We gotta we gotta access them, and this is the way we do it. We we can actually taste the past. We can go in there and we can we can have fun with it. So uh, I want to thank you for coming along on this adventure as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the 18th century. <laughs>